You excited, Tom? Oh, absolutely thrilled. <laughs> nice. I've been up this early. <laughs> it's not even that early. Uh, we're just trying to weigh out which way you're the, uh, which way to go at the start. It's quite strong tide running against us at the moment. So uh, it turns out the uh, Volvo 65 is a little bit quicker than the Figaro. Uh, they're slowly getting through the fleet, but we're going to try and hold them off for as long as possible. So it's currently flowing about 25 knots. Uh, we're pretty pressed up. We're doing 8.4 knots every ground, which is quite nice. Now we're a little bit north of our track. And so there we are, that's our track. Fortunately, our AIS is failing to, uh, to come up on our computer. I've tried a bit of everything. I've tried unwiring it and rewiring things, but it's still no luck. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. We've just uh, sailed into the overfalls of St Albans, though, and it's uh, it's all pretty hectic for the past five minutes. It's been a lot wetter and a hell of a lot of job here. Currently sailing back downwind, put the card up towards St Albans just over there. Um, the other guys trailing behind, and a big cloud there. We think that's where the breeze might start coming from eventually. But unfortunately, you can see that there ends up tearing the, uh, tearing the jib quite badly. It's a little bit darker now, but uh, it's still okay complete. It is both sides of the Kevlar tape. It's 8.30 in the evening. We're now just up towards St Albans again. Still leading the fleet. 77 is closed down quite hard on us. News from 37 is that he's lost his big kite and is now on his small kite. 